as far as just like a trait that kind of gave into it was as um, a child, whenever I first started writing, I wrote everything in complete mirror images. And my doctors said that that's really common with people who have situs inversus because when you have a complete mirror image of all of your anatomy, a lot of times your brain, your corpus callosum isn't crossed and you process things differently, you write differently. A lot of times you're ambidextrous. I used to be able to write with both hands, but for the most part, I just wrote everything in a mirror image, which is kind of cool, but we never thought anything of it. I have dextrocardia. Um, less than 1% of the United States population has it. It's caused um, by recessive traits in your parents. So it's like a very, very slight chance that it could happen. And even if someone in your family doesn't have um, history, you might not even know anyone in your family who has it, it is a possibility of happening. And it's just super rare. As far as adverse side effects, I have a much higher chance of having heart issues, um, whether that is heart disease, heart attack, um, just a heart defect in general. As of right now, it's fine. Sometimes um, I have to be monitored because when I'm running or if I get really bad anxiety or something, my heart rate will just increase a lot. But other than that, I'm pretty much okay. As a parent, um, I've had concerns since uh, my daughter was diagnosed with this. I have to say, I'm not as worried now as I was when we first found out about it. Um, getting that diagnosis and then finding out um, from the cardiologist that everything was completely reversed, including her vessels. Um, which is a good thing, made me not as st stressed about it. Um, I still do worry, 